What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm just going to get out and get right in front of us and say that game was ugly. Um, I don't even know how to even get started with this. Uh, I wasn't able to watch the game live um, but I did tape it and came home and watched it. I did follow it online, saw the result but wanted to watch it in full in order to get a full scope of everything so I will say that the first especially the first half that was probably the ugliest I've ever seen Michigan play that I've personally seen now I mean there might have been some uglier games that have been out there but given this team's expectations and everything like that that was just flat out ugly this game was supposed to be an improvement from last game, clean up some of the stuff that we made mistakes on, and it seems like it was pretty much the same of what happened last game, intensified. Now, of course, part of that is because uh, Army is a better team than Middle Tennessee, but we're in serious trouble as far as this team goes. I don't know what happened, but... Just the ball security is terrible. Discipline as far as taking penalties, terrible. Um, just making a lot of mistakes, drop balls. Um, I, I don't know what it is. And I mean, I can't say that it's a lack of practice or. I know that the the excuses that we're putting in a new system for offense, but that has nothing to do with drop balls and ball security. That that's that's has nothing to do with a new offensive scheme, uh, a different offensive play calling. Nothing. That's just you being careless with the football. Shea Patterson played awful. I mean, made a couple of throws here and there, but all in all. Played awful. He missed so many plays, bad throws, throws sailing, a uh, couple of touchdowns, easy touchdowns, and he just missed the guy. I mean, just because he was just inaccurate with his throws. And I, I don't know how that gets any better. I know we have one week to uh, to get healthier. Hopefully... Some of the guys that didn't play this game will be back for next week. Or not next week, but in the week following. But something has to give. We can't continue to play like this and expect to beat Wisconsin. If we had played Wisconsin, uh, we probably would have got the beat, the brakes beat off of us. Because that was just ugly. And to play that ugly at home, inexcusable. Now, I will say this, that... I don't think Army is as bad as I think what people are perceiving them to be. Now, it'll be interesting to see how they fare for the rest of the season. Um, you know, this is a team that up until um, this game had won 10 in a row, blew out Houston in a bowl game, took Oklahoma to overtime last year. So this is not a bad team by any stretch. This is to me, is a top 25 team that we just beat. For whatever reason, they're not ranked in the top 25. I don't know why. But to me, just from the way that they played, I mean, they played hard. They played really, really hard. They, their defense is really good. Um, obviously, their offense is one-dimensional, but they that one dimension is pretty much the best that there is in football. It's hard to stop them. And, you know... They did what they had to do in order to get a victory. But let's face it, um, we we gave them every opportunity to win this game. So it wasn't there, it wasn't Army's game to win, it was Michigan's game to lose. And they did their best to try and lose this game. Um, I'm going to start with the, the offense. The offense was terrible. Only bright spot was, uh, once again, uh, Zach Charbonnet. Which went over 100 yards, three touchdowns, but even even in his great game that he had, I mean, he still ran the ball 33 times for 
you know, for those 100 yards. So even though he went over 100 yards, he really, his, obviously his average per carry was not that good. And part of it is no one is, to me anyways, teams are not playing our passing game seriously. I watch all these other teams throwing for 300, 400 yards. And once again, Shea Patterson, I don't even know if he made it to 200 yards this game. So this free-flowing offense, this offense in space, this new high-tempo, up-paced um, offense that's going to have wide receivers running free in the secondary, I don't see it. To me, I don't see how this is any different than it was last year. I don't see any difference, personally. What is the difference? Um, the only difference I see, which actually is not even a benefit to how uh, we play, is that everything is out of the shotgun. Other than that, I, I don't see the difference. It, it's actually hurt us because in short yard situations... This whole notion of running from the shotgun is terrible. Especially in situations where they know you're going to run. Running from the shotgun is just a bad idea. It's, the play takes too long. So many times where um, I saw Army just come in from, the, from, the, from either the corner or the safety off the edge. And because you're running from shotgun, you're running so deep in the backfield... And by the time you get any type of forward momentum, some guy is in the backfield from off the corner and gets a piece of you and you lose yards or you barely make it back to the line of scrimmage or you get like a one-yard gain. So many, so many plays like that where Zach Charbonnet would, you know, he would do his thing, but he'd get mad in the backfield or he'd try and, he'd try to do something, but... He'd have two or three guys hanging all over him before he could do anything. Guys coming free unblocked. The, this offense is just not, to me anyways, it's not meant for rushing the football per se. It's more of a passing attack with the hint of running. But when your passing attack sucks, then I don't see how this is going to work. So, I mean, other than that, there's nobody that I can really talk about that had a decent game. Shea Patterson, for the most part, was pretty ineffective. Uh, I know the numbers won't necessarily show it, but no... And this is one thing I, I've noticed, and I've never, I haven't heard anyone talk about it, but his deep throw, from what I've seen, is not very good. Um, but not anything where I'm like, man, that was a, that was a beautiful throw. It's always when he goes deep, it's always overthrown or underthrown. Uh, I've never seen it where it's just a perfect throw or nice tight spiral catching a guy running free in stride. It's never that. It's always underthrown. Always the guy having to wait for the ball where it gets knocked away sometimes, or he'll overthrow a guy when he's wide open. His deep ball is not very good. And I don't know if he's injured or not, but his deep ball now is even worse. So that's a huge concern going forward, especially once we get into the better teams like uh, Wisconsin or Michigan State or Penn State or Notre Dame or Ohio State. If he can't throw the deep ball, then defenses are just going to stay near the line of scrimmage and, you know, force us into this tight little window of about 20 yards. And I've seen that, um, I've seen that all, not last year, but the year before when it was um, John O'Corn and Brandon Peters, and that was ugly. So, I, I don't know what we're going to do as far as the offense goes. Hopefully, with uh, Dumb and Peoples Jones coming back, um, you know, it'll definitely help the offense. I don't know how much it's going to help. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know he's a very good player, but there's fundamentally 
a lot more going on than the fact that he's missing. So hopefully whatever we need to get cleaned up, we need to get cleaned up because once again, 14 of their 21 points came off of turnovers. So, and the same thing happened last game for Middle Tennessee State. 14 points came off of two fumbles. Same thing with this. I mean, you look at it, we had about, I don't know if it was four or five turnovers. I know a few were on, on fumbles, had a couple of turnovers on downs. But you're just gifting teams points. You know, I'm, I'm going to talk about the defense in a second, but it's hard to win if the defense is always playing with a short field and trying to, to help the offense. Now, talking about the defense, I thought overall they actually played a very good game. Um, like I said, two of those touchdowns came... You know, off of turnovers, third touchdown obviously came in overtime on a short field again. So overall, I think that the defense played a very good game. Um, I can't really talk about the defensive line this game because it's not necessarily applicable because, uh, you know, Army obviously is not a team that passes the ball very often. But... I thought overall they played well. Um, you know, Army, for the most part, didn't really have those long, sustaining drives that they scored off of. They just had short fields from turnovers to score. Overall, I thought that Michigan played a very sound and disciplined game. They had one little hiccup where, um, you know, that they, they left the, on the wheel route where they left the running back wide open for one of the two receptions. Um, but I thought overall they played a really good game. Um, it won them the game. That, that uh, They were down 14-7 to um, off of the, the turnover, and Army had all the way down to the one-yard line. And I thought that was the play of the game there. First for the false start, and then two um, with the the interception by Levert Hill, which is funny. Last game he was a goat, but this time, I mean, it was a simple. Well, I mean, he had a simple enough play last time and dropped it. So, but his interception was the turning point in the whole game because right after that we came down and scored and tied the game. I think if. If Army scores there, the game is over. We lose. So that key play helped us, you know, get back in the game and tie it up. And then in the second overtime, you know, when they started to pass again, the defense came through and got the got the turnover and won the game. So their defense, while not being as dominant as it's been in the past, is still it's still steady. It's still consistent. Um, and once again, it, it was the reason why we won the game. But overall, this team is just not ready. And it's it's sad to say that they're not ready, but there's nothing else I can say about it. They didn't they didn't come to play, and if they did come to play, they they came. It, I hate to say unprepared, but. It's almost like they weren't ready to play. They weren't. They didn't match the intensity of Army. Army outplayed them from start to finish, and it just the only reason why Michigan wins this game is um, a couple of key mistakes and miscues that Army did in key situations to to let them back into the game. Um, other than that, um, Army wins this game. So. Michigan's got a whole lot of soul searching uh, going into this uh, bye. I don't know why we have a bye this early, but whatever. But there's going to be a whole lot of work that has to be put in during this bye week. Whether it be for ball security, whether it be to work out all the wrinkles for their offense, because their offense is ugly. 
I don't care what it, what anybody says. I ain't giving any mis- any excuses for how they're playing. Um, just bad timing, um, false starts, um, drops, guys out of position, um, just. And in the two games, to me, the offensive line has been outplayed. They've been pushed around, pushed backwards. Not a lot of push. Short yard situations seem very, very daunting for this team. And part of that is from running from the shotgun, which I hate. It's it's stupid. Um, it puts you in a disadvantage because you got to start from so far back and try to, to gain yards. And with their passing attack not being fluent, it, it just allows the defense to key off on the running back. So they got to get all that in check. So at the end of the day, we won. Um, like I said, I think Army's better than being unranked. I don't know why they're not ranked. This is a ranked team for anyone who watched the game. Very well-coached team, well-disciplined team fundamental team um they just made a few small uh no i'm not gonna say small it made some huge mistakes in key moments to allow michigan to win this game so that's it for the video thank you for watching if you like the video definitely feel free to leave a like on the video um if you enjoy my content definitely um you know Try to uh, share this video with as many people as possible. Let me know how you feel about the game in the comment section below. Do you think that Michigan's overrated? Do you think that they're exactly where they need to be? Let me know how you felt about the game. I don't care about the ranking. I know we're going to drop in the ranking, whatever. Who cares? All that matters to me is not that we drop down in ranking. Is that we win and we keep winning. Because at the end of the year, if we keep winning, everything's going to take care of itself. And we're going to be where we need to be. So I don't care about us dropping a rank. Who cares? But anyways, thank you for watching the video. Um, if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow this channel as much as possible. And um, thank you once again. And go blue.